a lovely day. Welcome back everyone. Oh my god, this has been the, the most agonizing long winter ever. Anyway, so I dumped my bike up and here is its nude look. Uh, I went with dragons because dragons are fucking cool. Uh, it's Year of the Dragon. I'm Year of the Dragon. So, fuck it, why not? And I also was thinking my bike was looking pretty fucking clapped after hitting so many trees over the last few years and half my plastics were literally zip tied back together. So I was like, well, if I'm gonna do the plastics, I might as well put a nice new, um, nice new set of stickers on it. So I sat down over the winter and did some doodling, drew up, drew up a dragon. I mean, I stole it off Google and then I heavily modified it because I can't be bothered to draw a dragon from scratch because that would take me forever. Um, but yeah, and then used a motor cow to get them printed. Uh, Liddy got them for me for my, my 36th birthday, which is, you know, another signifier. Like, you know, the dragon, like the zodiac comes around every 12 years, 36. Oh my god, I'm so old. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so we're at Burnt River this week, and um, I say we, I mean I. Uh, as you can see, the weather is beautiful, perfect Canadian spring. Uh, it's hailstones, snow, rain, wind. Um, sun comes out for about 30 seconds in the afternoon. Um, yeah, so I got my uh, got my got to get my riding in because I want to get it in before the Beagle Bash. I sent my suspension off um, to Langs. I spoke to um, uh, Ro uh, Rob. Uh, I spoke to Rob and I spoke to uh, Sean about um, what to do about my suspension. And uh, they gave me some advice. And I, I like I thought about uh, some of the people that were advised to me and um, they're a little really far away. Uh, so it's like, whilst I can post it out, um, it will cost me a couple of hundred dollars in postage. And then I was thinking, well, you know what? Let's just support the local business. So um, I went for a similar upgrade through uh, Langs. Um, and you know, well, I felt more comfortable, uh, and I was able to like just pick, pop down and pick up the stuff as well as all the other bits I wanted to save everybody on shipping. So you know, it saves money for everyone, and I keep the business local, and I get basically the same upgrade. Um, so I wanted to try this upgrade before I uh, actually um, went into the Beagle Bash next week. So I brought it to um, Burnt River, and you can, it is noticeable what, what is different. Like the front still feels soft, even though the clickers are. Well, on his default setting. So the front felt soft and, and plush, but I wasn't bottoming out on the jumps that I am confident would have bottomed out on the stock suspension. So that was firstly really cool. And then I started fiddling with them oh, immediately. Yeah. <laughs> this is like, I think this is like my, my second sighting lap. So, and I'm super rusty. And it doesn't really get much better than this. Like I'm, I'm terrible all day, but um, well, I get a little bit. <laughs> it's nothing spectacular. I don't know how to ride MX. I'm terrible at this. Um, but I was fiddling with the clickers, and I, I found some settings that I really liked for this kind of uh, um, for, for, for riding. Uh, and I would say for this kind of riding, but I mean, this is going to be very different to the trails. But I think it will work pretty well in the trails. And I, I still got a feel because I clicked them all the way up, clicked them down a little bit for both front and rear. And I was like, oh, I see what's happening. And the, the rear feels really good now. I think there's a, an extended bladder has been put on it. Uh, I don't know if the valve has been changed, but there's definitely a new bladder kit on there. So that's cool. That feels really good. Like the, the rear feels just like it's planted, and just like riding, riding along. So that's really nice. Um, the front feels feels good. Uh, it was a little soft. I clicked it up, uh, it, and then after like by five, no, by six clicks, it was getting way too hard for my slow speed here. Um, maybe it'll be fine in the trails. Maybe not. Um, I'll have to figure that one out more the more I ride. But I'm not gonna be able to figure that one out before the Beagle Bash. So that one will be uh, learn on the fly. Um, but and I think every, most people are going to be in a similar sort of situation. We don't have trails to ride over the winter, so, you know, I'm lucky that I even get to go out once, find a final weekend to get out. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm really happy to be back on the bike. Real nice Canadian spring. Um, what else have I been up to? Uh, yeah, I just fixed up everything that was broken on the bike. Um, Three off. Oh, yeah, here you go. Uh, like I replaced the all the the wearables and uh, I put those new pegs and stuff like that on, which felt good actually. It didn't slip off the pegs. Oh, this was 
this was a learning experience trying to get through here. But I, I, so what I was doing, I didn't film every single one of them. Um, but what I would do is I would just peel off and then just write this one section over and over and over again. It wasn't that corner because that one was particularly wet and I didn't like getting my feet wet. But there's some other corners um, after these few jumps, which I was going round and round in circles on. I did them like ten times, um, just just doing them over and over again. The jump in the corner, the jump in the corner, the jump in the corner. <laughs> um, I won't, I won't make you watch every single one of them. It's, it's not interesting. Um, we also got some cool uh, spray, which are uh, all recommended because we were like, I was wondering, how does it keep his bikes so bloody clean? And it's this SC1 silicone spray thing. Uh, it smells like cherries. It's great. So I, I sprayed that all over my bike. And um, yeah, that thing works wonders. Like, I came to wash this bike. It was absolutely packed with mud. There must have been about 15 kilos of mud on this bloody bike by the end of the day. And, um, yeah, uh, just the garden hose on the normal setting was just, like, stripping the mud off. I couldn't believe it. It was incredible. And then I was able to clean the bike in, like, 30 minutes. I mean, I mean there was a lot more to do afterwards, but... Uh, <laughs> clothes. Everything else. Um, but, yeah, the SE1 works, and, like, it was, it was incredible. I couldn't, couldn't believe how effective it was. There was also a few guys here. I, I forget one of the guys' names, but... Uh, Davin and his father Phil were here, and um, it was actually really cool to see them again. I hadn't uh, been to Burnt River last year, but the year before, um, when the conditions were equally as crappy, oh, I was trying this all day. But <laughs> I, I got there in the end, but a lot of my turning was terrible. It was just like bump in or just like wobble around. But I eventually managed to go around, around and around, just like riding both both feet off the, uh, off the pegs and just like. Whip it, whip it around. I felt really satisfying when I was able to do that. And it was really cool. Like David, David's father Phil was giving me a cheer. That made me feel real good. <laughs> Someone cheering for me. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to see see those two guys again. Um, now, a couple of years back when the, the conditions were as terrible as they are now, um, David, I was really struggling, like way worse than I'm struggling in this video. And uh, David was giving me some pointers and. Um, Hopefully they've paid off. You can see that I'm managing to go around a little bit better. Helps that I got better tires on as well. I still got those V33s. They're holding up really well. Um, myself, on the other hand, <laughs> I got so muddy after this. But at least it was like super, super soft. Oh, yeah, I made the camera worse. But I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> the ground was super, super, super soft. So you fall into the mud. You're like, oh, felt like I fell into a sponge. Um, a uh, very sticky, goopy, gross sponge, but yeah, I, I brush myself off and keep going. I actually have a second spare of gloves in the car, but I kept riding, and then I ran out of fuel. So you can see how, how far I've been going. I, I, I ran out one tank of, actually it wasn't one full tank, I've been hooning it around the neighborhood a few times, but it was almost a full tank, minus like half an hour of going around the neighborhood slowly, and doing circles in car parks, <laughs> like practicing figure rates and stuff, that, sort of, that sort of stuff. So, I don't know, it's probably like two thirds of a tank in there before I started. So I've been, I've done a lot of kilometers. And I'm pretty tired, the bike's getting packed up, but you can see I'm, I'm slowly getting better. I'm still terrible at this section. Oh my God. I, I, I yeah, it was a learning experience. I never think I really got particularly quick through that bit. There was like a few times I managed to even managed to keep my feet on the pegs going through that bit. That time, I think I was like flapping around, both feet off the pegs, basically riding with my tummy dragon. Oh, felt good about that. Cleared it fully and the bike felt like I was floating on clouds. The suspension felt really, really good. But I mean, it's all it's all fine and dandy riding on soft, muddy, but pff, didn't engage. Just <laughs> straight into the corner, didn't turn. I think that time my brakes were covered in mud. After that, I started doing like a little pre-break to clean the, the brakes before the discs before getting into the corner, and then I would be able to stop properly. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the bike felt really cloudy going going around. But it's like it's easy, like one thing riding like this soft mud, right? Maybe that makes it feel smoother because it's so soft. And you're just kind of like carving soft mud out the way. But yeah, it's all good. Yeah. So. Ah, oh, feels good to be back. Uh, you can see I've swapped my gloves now, so this is like after I've had some food and been riding quite a lot more and getting a little bit better. 
I, I feel more confident and I'm feeling much more happy. I'm feeling much happier about the bike itself now. Now that I've got like the anxiety. Uh, you see, like that jump there, I, I almost made the jump. Um, but that's because I've been going around there and practicing, getting a bit more confidence. And I was getting further. I think they made that jump nicer. It doesn't seem to kick me as much anymore. Or I'm not sure if it's just because I've been like fiddling with the, the rear suspension. It's not kicking me as much. Because before it used to kick me quite badly, but that could just be because I'm terrible and have a terrible ride position, or it could be because my suspension was not oh. twiddled. But I'm huffing and puffing, but I'm having a great time. I'm just I'm just getting really tired because it's been five months since I've ridden the bike. Uh, it's the one one bad thing about Ontario, just such a long wait for riding season to kick off again. But hey ho, whatever. We get to come play now, so and the racing season starting very soon, so I'm I'm very excited. And the sun's out now. The sun came out in the afternoon. Just this is like one of my last laps before I had to leave. So of course the sun comes out just before I just before I have to go. We still only have one car. So cars are expensive. There we go. Made it around. Yeah, feels good. Right, so I will, I think that'll do for this week, and um, looking forward to the Beagle Bash, so uh, yeah, see ya.